The people caught up in Rohingya crisis are more than just numbers or statistics. Each is an individual, a mother, a father, a sister, or a brother. This crisis was unprecedented in speed and scale. For the people who are living here now, the struggle for survival carries on. The crowded condition means that food, shelter or hygiene are not the only risks. Even language can be a barrier to get information. Listening to everyone who has been affected and even those who are sometimes left behind needs to be ensured. And that includes the host community too. In planning our response to this crisis, people who have been swept up should be at the center of it. Let's listen to them and build our response around them.